So I want to start out this video and say I do not recommend this, but I'm going to show how to use the service menu to make your SDR brighter on LG OLEDs. And the reason I'm going to do it is because someone out there is bound to figure this out and then make a video on it without giving the warnings. So I'm going to show how to do it and then show what it does exactly. So the image on the left is game mode with OLED light at 100 which is as bright as you can normally get SDR game mode and that measures at 230 nits. On the right has a service menu setting turned on that allows it to get up to 380 nits in SDR game mode and then SDR movie mode on peak brightness high normally would be 400 nits and with the service menu setting can go up to 500 nits. Now there are side effects to this which we will discuss and potentially this could increase chances of burn-in so do this at your own risk and again I don't recommend it at all um, but I will show how to do it and for the few people out there that really don't care and they just want the most performance of brightness out of their TV because one of the most common things you hear is about SDR game mode not being bright enough which I kind of disagree with you can see I have two bright lamps next to the TV and I have the camera exposed and locked um, to those lights so you can see how bright SDR mode is normally in gaming and then you'll see when I toggle on the setting how bright it gets uh, and again the camera is going to stay locked through this entire video however the couple benefits would be is if you are in a completely sun soaked very bright room or if you use black frame insertion and you don't want the image to be dimmed that much then this little boost in brightness may help however again there are side effects so you want to go into the service menu and where it says module HDR it was on normal if you toggle that to high then it pushes the brightness to max this works on definitely the 2022 2021 LG OLEDs should work on the 2020s as well probably prior to that I'm not sure how far back uh, you will need a service menu remote or a way to get into the service menu you can pick one up on Amazon for around 10 bucks um, you hit the in start button and then 0413 is the code to enter you should not be messing around in the service menu unless you really know what you're doing uh, but while you're on that page I personally disable TPC and GSR as that disables the ASBL now between the volume and channel buttons on this big service menu remote is a button called in stop. I recommend before you put batteries in, take a razor and cut that button off. You never want to press that button. So the module HDR as well as TPC and GSR settings are all under the OLED menu, which is number 12. So you just scroll down to 12, hit enter, make your toggles and then hit the exit button which is opposite on the remote of the in start button and once that's done you can see this big brightness boost that you get in SDR um, but do know that it does affect gamma and other things as well and towards the end of the video I'll have some charts to show what that does but first let's test a couple things first I turned off the TV and let it set for a few and then turned it back on to see if it would save the setting or if it needed to be done every time you turn it off and on when I turn back on and go back in, it's still enabled, so you don't have to go in every time and turn it on and off. However, there is another reason why you would toggle it, but we'll get to that in a minute. First, let's think about for a minute. On Sony OLEDs with the same panels, they allow the peak brightness, or on them they're called peak luminance setting, to be adjusted in SDR game mode. However, those TVs also have undefeatable ASBL, so once the TV has dimmed, it ends up being around the same brightness anyway. Um, so as far as it being a concern, if you wanted to, you technically could turn this on and then leave the logo dimming setting on so that it would be like the Sony if you were worried about it. Um, but then that would also kind of defeat the purpose. But if you want bright SDR gaming and you do this, then it would be brighter than the SDR gaming you got on, say, an A90J. All right, but the first issue with having this enabled is I'm now showing something in HDR and I'm going to go through the settings and show that none of the AI stuff is on and it's at its max brightness for HDR. And now I'm going to go in and turn module HDR on and you're going to see that in HDR when you have this on it actually makes the image darker. 
So in HDR content, you would want this to be on the normal setting. All right, so now I'm going to go back in, put it back to normal, and the brightness goes back to normal. Um, I can also tell you that doing this, making these changes back and forth, has no effect or long-term issue with the TV as far as making these changes quickly and changing them back. I'm not saying long-term, as in if you left it on all the time, then you may have issues with burning if you're playing games with it on all the time for a very long time. You know, whether or not LG looks at service menu access if you have to get a, anything done with the warranty I don't know again this is all at your own risk alright so now I'm showing in SDR TV content um, again if you were to max everything out uh, with peak brightness on high it's around 400 plus nits or so you turn on module HDR it goes up to 500 nits um, again sun soaked room you're watching sports and you, you're not worried about any long-term issues or whatever you want to take that responsibility, then you know maybe this is for you. Uh, but again, I personally would not recommend doing this. And now we'll get into some charts to show what is going on. So this image is my TV normally in SDR uh, with its calibration done. You can see I did around 188 nits. Um, I can bump that up in game mode to 230 without any real change, maybe a difference of 0.1. But as soon as you turn on module HDR, you can see it's almost 390 nits, uh, and the RGB balance starts to separate more, especially on the upper end, and then you see high color errors. But the color errors are slightly misleading. Let's go to this, and you can see where the colors are still hitting their boxes. It's just mostly luminance and saturation errors that you're seeing. That's why those bars are high. So completely not accurate, but some people won't care. Now the other issue is here in game mode at 2.2 gamma, it's actually an average of two and you can see a big bump towards the upper mid range. And now if you set gamma to uh, 2.4 and then remeasure, it ends up being around 2.2 average, but now you have a big dip on the lower mid range. And then if we go into the cinema or TV movie viewing modes, not game mode, you'll see that the side effects are similar except slightly worse uh, because the brightness is now up to 500 nits because there would really be no point in doing this unless you turn peak brightness on high already and it's not bright enough. But very, very few situations would actually call for more than 400 nits in SDR. Um, but if you need it, you can go up to 500. Gamma ends up being an average of around 2. It's not as bad as it was in game mode. Um, however, you can see that it's still not flat like it should be. And now when we look at the saturation sweeps, we can see the 100% for the colors are getting way pushed out there and not where they should be at all. But I think anyone trying to get four or 500 nits out of SDR isn't worried about the accuracy in the first place, but I did want to show that that is uh, an issue from doing this. All right, so that's gonna be the end of this video. Um, again, just wanted to put this out there before someone else finds it and puts a video out not showing the side effects and not talking about the potential risks. That said, personally, I'm not going to use it. I don't recommend it. Uh, however, as I said earlier, if you're someone who's not worried about potential long-term issues uh, and you have a very bright room or you just like a very bright SDR image, then this may work for you. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good one. I'll catch you in the next one.